medal, an absolute legend of the sport. Again, an absolute legend of the sport as well. So here's Bianca Warden, double world champion, being brought out by Bobby Leach from Quest, who will be very excited to bring out potentially one of her idols. No question about it. Bianca Walden marching in, full of purpose. Well, Queen B says the banner. They're looking to upset the party. Maria Espinosa. Well, one world, one vision. Can she get that one medal? She hasn't won a Grand Prix medal for six years. She's guaranteed wow. a medal here. She's going for goals, she's almost going the wrong way there. Thankfully the mascot knew little, what he was doing. He knew what he was doing, little Fabio from Co Fabio Cabello from Kickstar in London. Good work from Fabio, I think he deserves a, an extra mention he there. He's doing his job. Bodyguard as well as guide. This will be a really, really interesting match. Now quite a lot of really, real basic but world-class quality from Espinosa. The movement, distance and timing of her back legs are obviously legendary and world class as to why she's won what she's won. But Bianca for me has that movement, she has more skills, creativity. And I think it could cause Espin she could cause Espinosa problems. It won't be as easy for her in this match. Yeah, for sure. Top class fighters meeting here. Andre Kegai from Russia in charge of proceedings. Bianca Walton from Great Britain going against Maria Espinosa from Mexico. The Britain blue, the Mexican in red. Who's going to be getting into the final? This, the women's heavyweight grouping, the 67 kilograms and above. Walton, of course, made it through in a very difficult contest against Bredis Acosta, also of Mexico. So if the Mexicans didn't know about the quality of the Liverpool last year in blue, they'll certainly have been watching that one. Mike Harvey giving out the conversation and indeed a smile but of course the Mexicans will have had a chance to study that previous match and it's a quick start from Walton straight away moving around Maria, Maria Espinosa moving into the wrong distance 10 seconds 4-0 down excellent for Bianca Walton well the start score she was 4 down against the Mexican Acosta at the start of that match in this one she's turned the tables on the Mexicans and it's a march so far towards the final. Good start from Walden. Great footwork as well. Signs of confidence. She really wants to put on a good performance. I don't think she's happy with the quarter-final performance to get to this stage. So I think for me, she wants to prove that point now that she really is going to try and put the put her style straight in the beginning of this match, and she has done. Yeah, as you say, proving a point. Four to the good is Walden in blue. Battles home, a nice little short, sharp shot on the inside. Does well with those big legs to fit that in. She does, it works so hard on, the, on that short distance that it is very difficult to do. So fair play to Bianca for trying to work that clinch and score as well. When you've got, when you've got long legs, that is difficult. It is indeed, and it's getting ever more difficult now for Maria Espinosa. Well, three Olympic medals to her name. Walton, of course, as you'll know, with that Olympic bronze medal from Rio. On track for Tokyo for sure and on track here, Sarah. It's very difficult for Espinosa. She wants to get that short distance and work, but Bianca's good in that distance too. So that's difficult. She can't use her left leg because Bianca can spin, so what do you do? Well, that's exactly what you do there. You have to seek solace outside of the map as Walton extends her lead. A procession at the moment from the British fighter in blue, much to the delight of the passionate crowd here. Lots for them to cheer about. Bianca like finding that stab there to the body and, and Espinosa just standing still for far too long. This is not what she does, she's good at movement, she can move well and she's far too static. Static stuff from the Mexican, super start for Walden, she's going better and better and going through the gears here as we go towards the end of what has been an excellent first round. And if you look up textbook in the Taekwondo dictionary, there's a picture of this round. The definition beside it is Walden. Wonderful stuff from the Britain blue. Couldn't ask for a better start. Perfect. For me, what Bianca's done there is just done her game, but also stopped 
Esmeralda, Esmeralda. anything that she's good at or anything that she would be able to do to win this match. And of course we see here the confirmation 10-0, well, it tells its own story. As we've talked about Espinosa, that explosive power, she's 30 years old, she's not old, but in terms of experience, haven't won a medal for six years, tough to get back to this level. It is tough, I think she actually did retire at some point last Let's year um, so then to come back so to get to this stage amazing but you're coming up against younger, younger athletes maybe a little bit more explosive right now so it's a big ask for her you know for, for me this is still incredible that she's got to this stage but I don't see how she can pull this back I think we have to be completely honest it's a one-sided match here Espinosa great credit to her but for all in the world, well in the world, it looks like a bronze for Mexico, trying, she's got a good punch, she's got a good double, the Mexico in red, but on the double, the ref gives away the gam jump, Walton extends the lead, and it is a relative possession now, changing stance, giving different looks, and running through things that I'm sure she's worked on day in and day out, when you're getting a chance to practice new things in a semi-final of a Grand Prix, it shows how good Bianca is. Yeah, well, 100%, I think if you're going to do it, try it, you can show off a little bit, you know when you're having fun, you're enjoying it, show off a little bit, the crowd love it, Bianca will be enjoying herself and just give her that good momentum, potentially going into the final. Yeah, potential the right one, because there is still time on the board, Espinosa, well in boxing, they say a puncher's chance, she has a kicker's chance as she takes a kick straight to the face there. She's just too good for us to know. Again, like I said she hasn't got one of her qualities was being able to surprise people with the movement and the attack, and that for me isn't there today. Yeah, but isn't there today. The footwork has gone, but is there a chance that this head kick could be invalidated here? The referee certainly gave the gam jump for holding. Was the kick to the face before that? We shall have a look at it here on the video replay. As Ben Tanridi, the man from. Or Tariq Ben Radi, I should say. The man from Morocco will decide this one. You've shared the ring with both. You know the qualities of both. We know the outcome, more or less, of what's going to happen for this one. But Espinosa, it is admirable. It's very admirable. It is. It is. You know, I couldn't do that, you know, continue for that long, to have that passion and that drive for so long as to keep going. But for me, she's got a bronze, silver, and an Olympic gold medal. You know, she's a legend already yeah legend of one generation going up against a potential legend of the next Gam John given Walton doesn't care she'll take that one all day 12 points of a gap double attempt there from Espinosa good power from Walton showing her athleticism showing her strength and all of that work in the GB fight factory paying off here producing top class taekwondo here as we move towards the last minute Espinosa still a life threat, still has a good headshot potential, but Walton looks switched on. She is 100% switched on. There's nothing, unfortunately, that Maria Espinosa can do about this. You know, she's tried, she's a very smart player. She's tried to move round. She's tried to spin. She's tried the close distance. You know, she she's just it's just not good enough for her today. Yeah, but it's not your day. It's hard to go up against Bianca Walton, even if it is your day. She's always producing the quality, extends the lead as we extend towards the end of the second round. And the good thing about Walton here, doesn't seem in a rush. No, she's very, she's very relaxed. She's not overthinking, not overdoing things, enjoying herself, but, but really focused. Had to be that reverse turning kick, whistles over the shoulder. Nice little stabbing shot to the body, extends the lead further as we go towards the end of the second round. Good stuff from the Britain Blue, tough times for the Mexican, but one key thing there, we've we'll got a legend in our shot, a potential legend in this young lady here, but she's not playing to the crowd. No, she's not, Bianca, really, you can see that focus that she really wants to win this, she loves, she thrives in this environment, she wants this, she didn't have a great match the fight before, she might have beaten herself up a little bit, and she's probably determined now to not let that happen in this match. And every, again, for me, every single time, Bianca's making an action, she's scoring as well. So that precision and that distance, absolute quality. Well, absolute quality from Walton. A super start and a better finish. 
Mike Harvey. Well, he knows his way around the mat. He'll be very, very happy with the game plan executed so far as we move into the third round. Crowd loving it. Business half done. Espinosa grits her teeth yet again. And I just say Bianca there, focused, not looking at the crowd, really, really engaged in this match, really ready for this, up for it. You're up for it with the fast start, can she finish it with the headshot? Looking for that 20 point gap potentially. You don't get paid for overtime in combat sports in Walton. Changes stats, good stuff from Espinosa, tries with the shot, kicks in the inside. One last hurrah from the Mexican. The crowd absolutely loving this, and maybe even Bianca's dad might have started that, that <laughs> chant there. Well, one thing he starts every day with her when she's fighting, no mercy. That's what he says, and she's saying none here. Brilliant. It's always a joy to see Bianca's dad in the crowd. The passion. And as you said, not just the passion, the precision, not in terms of just the scoring. Good movement as well. They're always closing down. Bianca's tactics for this match, absolutely spot on. Espinosa just not knowing what to do. She can't, she can't do anything more than what she is doing. Well, into the last minute here. It's been a superb start for Walton. Final pretty much guaranteed. It's in the offing. Who's it going to be against? Gao Pan or Sheng Shu Yin? An all-Chinese semi-final that follows this one. But Espinosa chasing shadows here as we move towards the last 45 in this one. I think Espinosa just not engaging, not wanting to get point gapped. Which, you know, can be quite embarrassing. And I, I, I don't want her to see, you know, she, she's doing her best to not get point gapped. But I think Bianca really would like to see that happen in the semi final. Yeah, it would be a good scalp on the record as Walton extends her athletic resume yet again. Another Grand Prix final in the offing. Walton, 17 points to the good. Will there be a gamjong given for holding? Well, she's more than happy. Counters with a nice shot on the way through. Credit, of course, to Espinosa. But as the crowd reach fever pitch here, I wonder what the final is going to be like. We don't have to wonder for long because it's going to be Walton that makes her way into that. Espinosa. Just standing saying, OK, I've had plenty. That's enough for today. Bronze medal goes to Mexico into the final. Great Britain's Bianca Walden. Grand Prix finalist yet again. Crowd love it. Wonderful scenes. Bianca's dad there, right at the front. <laughs> Don't think he could get any closer. Yeah, would have been on the mat if it could be, but Bianca didn't need him. Into the final she goes. Good smile, good show of respect there. One legend leaves the arena. One legend makes her way into the final. That, that was the Bianca that we all know and love. She's going to be a force to be reckoned with in the final. Yeah, a force in the final as she forces her way through there against Espinosa. The Mexican producing five points and making a point. We talked about female role models, we talked about top class fighters. We're going to get a chance to talk about Bianca again. We might not get too many more chances to talk about Maria Espinosa. 